girl, Bella. Hello, babes. Welcome to my channel. This is Shannon, and you are watching Brown Girl Bella, luxury beauty with a little laughter and beauty with a little banter. So today, I wanted to do another trend to try. This is the latte look. I will be going through this look step by step and showing you how I created it. It is a very simple look to do and it is perfect year round, but I especially love it in the summertime as it takes just a few steps and you can just walk out the door. So let me show you step by step how I created the Cafe Latte trend to try. Okay, as always, babes, everything that I am going to use today will be in the description box below so that you can shop with Shannon. If you do click on those links, please know that a portion of what you purchase will come back to the channel in form of commission that I then turn back to the channel in terms of purchases that I get for the channel and giveaways that I do for my subscribers from time to time, my babes, as I call you all. So let's jump in with this fantastic trend to try. I love this trend because it takes very, very little effort. And even in the summertime, you really don't have like a lot of time. So it's really put a face on. Sometimes you're running out the door and going through your errands and through your day. And so this is a look that I love to do when I am, you know, running off to work and I just wanted a really nice polished pulled together look. And here's the things that I use. So first and foremost for the eye look today, and you'll see a side by side on what I did. But I started with this shade right here in the middle, which is called Safari. And I use that just on the crease and I blended outward. Next, I went in with the Zand and I just deepened the crease up a little bit. And then finally, I went into this color right here and I just did that outer V, deepening that a little bit as well as taking it down in my lower lash line. So that's what I used. And then for the lid, I used this color right here, which is copper stone. And as you can see, I use that all over the lid, including the inner corner, bringing it outwards and finish that look. I let it off by the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. This is in the shade Endless Cacao. I use that in the waterline and deepen that up a little bit from the Zan that I used in the outer corner. So really helped carve out my eye look. And then of course, you know, I go in with my three wise mascaras, starting with the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and to curl and extend out my lashes. I use the Dior Iconic Over Curl. And then lastly, to add more definition and volume to the lashes, I use the Fenty Beauty and this is called Hella Thick. So that's what I use to define my lashes and really make them pop. And next, we're going to go in with the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow. I love this. This has been one of my staples and I love to use it year round as well. I went in with the blush powder, which is right here. And I put that on the apples of my cheeks, extending it outward. And I did that on both cheeks. And then to further carve out my face, I used the House Labs bronzer. And here you see me just using my brush to carve this out and create some shape and some warmth to the face. 
putting a little bit more of my concealer underneath the eye just to tone down the brightness a little bit. And then I use the Hourglass powder to just powder underneath the eye to just set the concealer that I used. Next, I went in with the Natasha Denona Golden Highlighter. I used the bronze color right here at the end to add just a little bit of highlight to the upper cheekbones and as well as the bridge of the nose and then some on the cupid's bow just to add a little bit more sparkle and more definition to the face. And then lastly, I went in with my uh, Makeup Forever pencil again, this time to line the lips and went in with my Chanel Allure in 196 Adem Mott. And everything that I use today will be in the description box below. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new and you like what I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and then tap that notification bell so you're notified each and every time that I upload, post, or go live. Until I see you back here again, you have now been bellified. Let me know if you try this trend. See you later.